Hey, do you struggle with repeat sentences in the PTE exam? If you do, you're not alone. So here are some tips, tricks, and strategies to overcome repeat sentences, part one. Let me show you this game as an example of what do I mean. Right now, I want you to imagine for a second that you have a sentence which is nine words in total, but it's really difficult to remember all nine words. So what a lot of people try to do, they try to get a whole sentence, but what tends to happen, instead of in, they say on, instead of government, they say governments. And it seems like they do quite well because in total over here, I got seven out of nine words. So it seems like I'm gonna be getting the majority of my marks, but in fact, this is not true. And the main reason why is because we broke the sequence. And if the sequence is broken, you're not going to get as many marks regardless of how many words you get in total. The solution is you don't focus on the total number of words. You focus on what is the maximum number of words that you can get in the right sequence. Let me show you. Imagine that this is the same sentence that we just had earlier, but instead of making two mistakes in the middle, I got the first one, two, three, four, five words correct. And the rest are completely wrong. So it may seem like I didn't do as well this time around, but believe it or not, this will give you more marks than before. The reason why is because of the updated marking and repeat sentences in PTE. In the past, you would get a lot of marks for getting a lot of words, even if the sequence is wrong, even if you swap the words around. But nowadays, if you're not getting enough words in sequence, you will fail your listening for sure. So what does that mean for you? Are you practicing from now onwards? Don't focus on the total percentage of the words you're getting, but count what is the absolute maximum that you can get one after another without mistakes, without missing any S, E, D, I, N, G or swapping any words.